What's good, boys and girls? It's your boy, the Jensei, back in a good way, and I'm here to bring you a Akuma video. Now, this one's very special, because this one is going to be a character guide. This, I'm actually hyped to see what kind of uh, stuff he has in his toolkit, what's new, what he kept. Um, I, I, I don't know nothing about his frame data. I don't know if it's going to show in this character guide, but we'll see. It's a very thick one, too. It's about, like, 11 minutes long. We're going to dive in. And we're gonna have some fun i'm kind of hyped to see what i'm gonna get excited about i don't know what to expect i didn't see anything from this whatsoever i just seen like um street fighter themselves like dropped the 11 minute video link on twitter and that was it i bookmarked it and then i moved on so here before we get in go ahead and hit that bell icon so you get a notification of any new videos i drop hit the like button so i know that you want more videos like this and hit that subscribe so as soon as the video is dropped, you see it right on your feed. Let's go ahead and miss it on in there. That doesn't even make sense. Don't worry about it. The red eyes, let's go. I got a read. Okay. Okuma has a range of powerful, easy to use moves, but it's low vitality. Da -da 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 -da. Along with projectiles, anti air techniques, and close range strikes that make up your basic arsenal, Okuma has corner carry options and additional throws to keep your attack options varied. I think that first one would just tell you that um he's very offensive and he's like a glass jar cannon whatever you want to use i want to see this throw i i I, mm, I like that throw so much it's new and i'm gonna be using it i feel like that tatsu he had before his fast walks be on long reaching attacks are also powerful tools for controlling space and the flow of the fight he had very long reaching um is that a new move? I don't remember that one. And while the projectiles can be launched both on the ground and in the air, only the ground and bridge can be charged. Air fireballs are so cool. Go, Hadouken. Fire the key blast over the forward. Okay. The speed of the projectiles is determined by whether you use a light, medium, or heavy button. Hold down the attack button to amplify the projectile's power and increase the number of hits. So if you hold it down, you get two hits. And if you get that one, it's... Was that two or three? Overdrive launches a faster projectile that gets harder multiple times. You will be in a position to move before your opponent should they block this. Naturally, charging this version increases the potency even more. Potency? Potency. Potency. Oh my gosh. Fire a key blast from the air. Okay, bet. I don't want to read that anyway. Launch a projectile down and forward from a forward jump. The strength of the button input will determine the angle of the projectile's path. Take heed, however, as the projectile will dissipate should you sustain a blow. And the EX version. What is version can be launched from a neutral? Oh, okay, so EX has the neutral and jump forward. Take a layer descent and utilize extra stuff. I've seen it broke like DI as well. I'm not even going to read that one because, you know, you don't want me to read it. Should your opponent be foolish enough to approach from above, use a light or medium version of his technique to put an end to their folly. The heavy version is perfect for ending combos. This version gains invulnerability, allowing you to cut through your opponent. Okay, just EX, DP. I wanted to speak about something before. You know what? Hold on. We're going back just a little bit. It was about his EX. You know what? No, we won't go back a little bit. We'll just pause. It was about his EX fireball. It said that you'll be able to move and do stuff right after. So I think his EX fireball is plus on block. Which is cool. Moving on. That's all I want to say. Life version will launch your opponent, leaving them over for their attacks, while the medium one will knock them away, granting a chance to plan your next assault. So setups. While these two versions will miss crouching foes, the heavy one will not. So the heavy version gets crouching foes. Interesting. Version will carry your opponent higher for a prolonged assault, but be aware for it will not hit crouching foes. All right, so only heavy hits crouching. Um, you can bring a crouching, cowering opponent to their feet with a standing medium kick or crouching heavy. Okay, and then cancel them from those into the first overdrive technique. So he has two moves that forces standing on hit. That's actually good to know. What was it? It's like a medium kick and then the crouching HP. The syndicate can hit opponents that have jumped over. Do not overlook the opponent to deal more damage so it crosses up. 
This version will keep your opponent rooted in place in the air and knock him down, I guess. For a simple combo, hit the airborne opponent. Okay, so you can follow up. Oh, and also does bounce. Okay. Adamant Flame. I almost read that like so bad guy. A technique that excels in combos, the strength of the button input determines not only how far this move will advance forward, advance you forward actually, but will also determine the move's potency and properties for the second attack. Make use of its lengthy reach and aim to hit your opponent with the edge of your fist to decrease the chances of your opponent successfully retaliating if they manage to block. So it has a lot of pushback. Regardless of where you strike from, the heavy version will not leave you open to retaliation when blocked. Huh. If the first bolt lands true, then unleash the second, but abandon ambitions of pressing a <laughs> button after, I guess. So I guess after the second hit, you're negative or minus, and then after the first hit, you're plus. I'm gonna cling to the wall. Which version is that? I didn't get to read it. I was too busy talking. Oh, just the overdrive version. Okay, never mind. I could have swore I seen the overdrive version, but it didn't send them flying that far. I'm not clear to the wall. You don't have a chance to punish them further, or just simply close in if they are not within your reach. Choose wisely. I just want to point out this thing goes far as crud. I'm going back one more time. Just one more. Dog, that is far. That's a that's a, a stage length between you and your opposing character at the farthest. I wonder if you could do that from mid screen or from like a little closer to the wall and still get like the hit on the wall. Uh, utilize the mirror techniques. Oh, it's demon flip to <clears throat> to confound. Bring your what? Bring ruin to your opponent. <laughs> the strength of the button input will determine what you get. The first of these techniques is a demon low slash. I'll let you attack simply by not making any additional input after performing demon raid. Yeah, so it's a guaranteed follow up for a low if you don't push a button. This move fits your opponent low. Hold on. You're going, you're going quick, my, my, my guy. Though even if it's blocked, you'll be able to move before your opponent. Your technique against opponents. Okay, so you're, you're plus. New technique, or next technique, diamond, diamond? Demon guillotine is performed by inputting a punch pound, bounding. I can't read. Sorry, I apologize. This move is an overhead attack and also allows to move first in case where it is blocked. So this is plus as well. The third technique is Demon Blade Kick, so it's Dive Kick, performing Input Kick. Straight to the Kick Input will determine the angle and traveling distance of the attack. If you aim for your opponent's head, this kick, yeah, it's going to be minus, but if you aim for the feet, it's going to be plus. Yeah, I got you. If you land a kick, you can unleash a combo, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, For the final technique, Demon Swoop. And put down and hold in during hold it during a demon flip. So I guess it just cancels. Opponents may attempt to counterattack a demon rate assault with a drive impact or a parry drive. If they do demon soup to land earlier. Oh, so it also goes down quicker. Man, this is what I was saying about fucking demon flip. Demon flip's gonna be nasty, no matter where your opponent this is the one that really caught me off guard. So you can do the EX version and you'll fly like all the way to them. Moves can be performed out of this version of Demon Raid marginally faster. And this version also gains access to two additional attack out options. I almost said outputs, I'm sorry. The first of these additions is the Demon Gozanku. It shares the same properties as the one you can unleash from a standard jump. However, this one will not consume Drive Gauge. Is that what it said? Drive Gauge? Drive Gauge? Yeah, Drive Gauge. Okay. A Demon Gorasen is the second edition. This one also does not consume drive gauge, cancel the overdrive, demon rate, and some more stuff. It just, yeah, man, I'm just not quick enough to read. You can do a high kick to get a follow up, and yeah, okay, got you. Ashura Senku. A technique that allows you to rapidly cover great distances after a brief period, brief pause, not period. You can traverse either towards your opponent or away from them, depending on which button you press, I guess. You can pass through opponents while in transit with this technique. Should you catch a foe unawares, unawares, 
This becomes a powerful means of switching sides. So I really did not rely too much on it because you are obviously vulnerable. Input a light punch and light kick simultaneously while in motion to unleash the unblockable. It's unblockable. Oh, that's a that throw. Does unblockable overall throw. His reach is short, so be sure that Shora Zenku has brought you like pretty much directly in front of them. And hey, Mesuts Gohano. I don't know how to say I let that, that second part. He gotta say it for me. <laughs> Make use of this projectile speed to create combat opportunities from all manner of situations. Alone, it still serves as a potent long range attack. Its invulnerability to strike also makes it effective at turning a battle's tide. You can follow up at yeah, you can follow up after this one, right? I like his second one, Tenma Gozanku. It should be this one. Is it this one? No, this is the air version. Okay. This version does not render you invulnerable to attacks, but it will still serve you well in combos. You can cancel into it from jumping medium punch, which will open opportunities to further punish your opponent. Empyrean's End. A technique. This is the one that I. Is this it? Yeah, this is the one that I like. This one has like a lot of follow up in the corner. I'm not reading. I'm sorry. Give me more time. Hold on, cause I'm, that's that's a that's a whole paragraph that I'm looking at. A technique perfect for use on cornered opponents. It can be easily canceled into from overdrive techniques and the light Tatsumaki Zanku Kyaku. Skilled combatants can also follow a Rago high kick or other attacks with this for a decisive combo ender. I got you. Yeah, like that. I think that's fire. As this attack grants you invulnerability, you should find yourself, or should you find yourself close enough to your opponent, you can cut through their projectiles to seize them. So that's going to be used as kind of like an escape as well. The invulnerability of this technique allows you to strike back when least expected. My bad, I, I looked at it. A can also be canceled into during combos. Those caught by this technique will learn firsthand that resistance is futile. I thought it was the um the raging demon. Akuma is so sick, man. Hello? <laughs> That's the CA version? I like that so much. Get past their garden and do a one-handed fucking Hadoken in their face? That's gas. I'm not reading these small ones, I'm sorry. And it's a lot like they're explaining different things too, but this is really fast. A privilege technique that no mortal can block. Should they find themselves in his path, if unleashed on a standing opponent at point blank range, they will have no means of escape. This is gonna be a powerful grab as a final word in combo closers. I'm very glad they kept it as like if he's directly in front of you, it's like Zangief's level three. However, one must not forget it grants vulnerability only against projectiles. And that it only, well, I guess you just wanted to take away the text. That boy's so gas. Alright, so just for me, I'm going to read it. I know y'all can pause it and read it. I just want to see what it said. Income available after vitality is at 25% or lower. Choose the time carefully. Okay, so you can't just use it whenever. Your health has to be like real low. I wonder how much damage it does. It used to do a shit ton. He just picks you up, looks at you, and then drops you. But he's so angry afterwards. <laughs> It, that that face Loki did not make hey Max that face Loki did not make sense because it was like he picks you up he looks at you he drops you and then he starts like turning away but his face is still like straight and after he turns away it's just the meanest grimace you ever seen it's like it's like he lost his prey and he's like really upset that he lost his prey is what that face is telling me it doesn't tell me that he just won the fight <laughs> he's like looking for more to fight this looks pissed.
all right so aside from the actual character guide i do have some clips from other people that actually played the game or got to a chance to play akuma and they were able to come up with some i guess you can call them combo routes they also were able to like find out different things i don't have too much but i'm gonna see if i could find like well high fight has like a youtube i could probably check that out too and see like uh what they're able to actually find for akuma but we're gonna check out a couple twitter clips and then we'll see if i can check out that youtube video as well So I was off the dive kick and stuff, overhead. This man just did a drive rush into Raging Demon. Are you kidding me? A drive rush? This is a computer. Obviously, CPU 7. But, dog, a drive rush into Raging Demon right after? To put you in the range. To where it's going to be pretty much like a zero frame where you can't jump out of. That's sick. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I like that. I like, I like thinking about that execution. What is this that he's doing here? This is like dive kick. Like a target combo into the heavy tatsu. Over here, drive rush into demon. Okay. That was pretty neat. It's like all his bar. Yeah, it's a CA. Okay. Cool. Oh, speaking of, does that mean when you do the CA? No, 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 no. Because you can only do Raging Demon in literally at 25%. So it's, it's, it's automatically your CA. Okay. Like an extra CA. Alright, and then this one's from Tyrant. So, a uh, well-known commentator for like, at least talking about fighters. But I'm glad to see him on Street Fighter. I'm pretty sure he would probably like play Street Fighter beforehand. I know nothing about Tyrant. I just know him from Dragon Ball Fighters. Regardless, let's watch this. From the DP, get the kick. The crouching HP into Drive Rush and kick again. I did not see what that move was before the level two. I mean, not the level two, but before. Okay, it's another crouching HP into the EX, into the level two. Into the kick, into demon flip into the air tatsu into the level one I'm gonna just take okay so it took all your resources pretty much how much did it do it's a little past half health now okay that's not bad damage for all your resources dog akuma is so sick Like when I see when I see him do that high kick into the I thought it was a jump cancel at first, but it was actually demon flip because he twirled. When I see that, it reminds me of NBC three. After you do a launcher and then you jump like right after. Akuma is so sick. This is another one from Tyrant. I think he's actually like giving advice. Okay, Tatsu and just sweep gears easy oki anywhere on the screen when you dash two times, and a safe jump in the corner. I'm getting some clean tips before I highly comes recommend out. going for sweep after light tatsu if you want pressure and only ending in DP if you want damage. Double dash after sweep always seem to give easy oki and also a safe jump in the corner. I highly recommend going for sweep yeah, after so light like, tatsu if you want pressure <coughs> and only ending in DP. The if fact you want that damage. Akuma Double can do sweep light tatsu and also into a, safe a jump sweep. In the corner. To get a knockdown is so good. Like I don't know if, if he always had that. He probably did always have that. Damage. It's so good. The and then his, his dash is pretty quick. And also a safe jump in the corner. And his I dash also covers a decent amount of like distance tatsu too. If you want pressure and only ending in DP if you want damage. Double dash after sweep always seem to give easy oki and also a safe jump in the corner. I highly recommend going Akuma's for gonna be nasty. Like if you want I'm calling it now. Ain't nobody touching this man. Why they? Why 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 they did my man like this? Why they did my man like this? 
What is this Scooby Doo ass looking pose, bro? What is this? I'm going to tippy toe my way into the kitchen to open up the pot to get some food in the middle of the night and try to make sure my mom doesn't hear me. What is this, man? Why why is his why is his back hunched like that? Why does he have no neck anymore? Why does he look like a gremlin? Look at look at his hand. Look at his feet, bruh. Akuma man. Dang, bruh. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know what, so you know what, Sebastian? Hold on. What what'd you say, Sebastian? Freak ass demon here, super god. Look, man. Look, Sebastian, you got it. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> All right, so I was able to get this from the link from High Fights. Uh, it's gonna be like CPU battles. I just wanna see what Akuma can do. So that's what we're going to check out right now. This grimacing behind dude, man. What up, Ken? Ken! <laughs> Ken, fight back. Ken, you're getting whopped. Oh, no. I'm happy to see it though. This man stepped on his ankle. Bro, oh, why do they do that? Why is Ken CPU level 5? I was wondering why is he DPing just randomly? I wonder what's the frame data on his crouching medium kick. Goki, win. Goki. All right, man, y'all gotta put him against a computer his level, bro. I ain't trying to watch no level five. Is it Ken again? Oh, seven this time. I right, bet, bet, bet. They also got somebody talking as well. Like that heavy toxic gives him a, um, a knockdown. And show you, yes, sir. ガリコンボ。イレイヤ2。そこで体力は we're on round two. Oh, it's all right. Never mind. Nah, it's all good. Where's round two at? Yeah, that crouching being could go is kind of far, bro. I like that. Damn, this stuff. Akuma fight back! This can't be my king! Not like this! Yep, sure you. Get your pressure back, standing medium kick. Uh, uh. 
Yes, sir. That's my king. Reaction on. I forgot what that move is called for uh <laughs> for uh Ken. Is it like Dragon Lash? You gotta show you a fireball. Come on, bro. Yeah, I really like that. Um, that light Tatsu into crouching heavy kick or sweep. Okay, so there's there's the clip. There's the clip. Disgusting. And these announcers don't sound they don't sound surprised or nothing, so they they see this already happen. You gave Akuma one round and then went straight to yeah, that was a good neutral jump. I fear Akuma is never going to be able to beat the the rascally allegations, the mischievous uh, uh, mystery man from Scooby Doo. Who's the murderer? Who's the one that's doing all this stuff? Scooby Doo. The I would have gotten away with the two of us for you meddling kids. He did it again? Come on, bro. <laughs> Relax. I love that donkey kick from Ryu. That's that AMK is going to be a good poking button. <laughs> is Ryu still bad in this game? Or not necessarily bad, but like, meh? You didn't have to do all that, CPU 7 Akuma. Why you did that to him for? And that's it. Okay, bet. Bet, 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 bet. Alright, so that's pretty much all that I have for this man. Uh, I think he's gonna be really good. Like on, like on something so serious, like Akuma's really going to make me come back to Street Fighter 6 to play it again. I am just seeing like the character guide, like seeing the character guide itself, more of, most of the time I was like reading it, so I was like barely seeing the moves, but I knew like after reading what the move was going to be and the properties it was going to have, but then seeing like actual people play the character and then also seeing the CPU 7 play the character which is actually like, Street Fighter 6 has some really good CPUs like I think it was like CPU 8 Luke that was like going rampant on people before Street Fighter 6 came out and people was having a tough time trying to get through CPU 8 Luke nasty but yeah seeing that as well to like actually see how Akuma can move and also seeing that drive rush into Demon Raging Demon nasty it's it's getting me hyped it's getting me hyped i think akuma drops in like the end of may like may 30th or something like that i'm gonna be running rampant i'm gonna be just doing shenanigans i'm i'm here for every single thing but all right if you like what you see go ahead and drop a like for your boy drop a subscribe so you always see some new videos whenever i drop them and in the comment section yo let me know if you're hyped I probably asked this in the last one too, but let me know if you're hyped that Akuma is coming through. Let me know if you detest that he's coming through. Let me know if you're trying to make it to Masters and you're right there. And then hearing the news of Akuma coming through gave you the cold sweats at night whenever you try to go to sleep. Because now your Masters is kind of a little farther away because Akuma degenerates are coming through and we're going to bust it up. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.